we turn to the author of The Wise Men Who Found Christmas, Fox News contributor Raymond Arroyo. All right, Ray, Biden marked a huge milestone this weekend, I understand. He did indeed. Joe Biden turned 80, making him the oldest president in American history. Now, Laura, Democrats are mulling whether Biden should run in 2024. In the meantime, they're publicly bobbing and weaving around the question. We're just freezing up. Do you hope that President Biden will run again in 2024? You know, I, 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 I will have to see. You know, he's our president right now. He has experience. He has qualifications. I won't say if he's best or if he's not. I'll just say this. He has the qualifications to run. You want to see President Biden, the senator, run for a second term? Well, what I want to see right now is that the Congress of the United States working with President Biden next year. Raymond, I don't think sets that's exactly an answer. What were those Sesame Street characters with the split screen of Bernie Sanders and Wolf? <laughs> no, the two Muppets. Older, the Muppets. Waldorf the Muppets. and Stadler. That's, it. That's He's one of them, definitely. It harkened back to that, that split screen. Well, Laura, there's also a Wall Street Journal, a vote cast uh, study, a poll, and they found that more than half of those responding thought Biden lacked the mental capacity to serve as president. That is going to rattle uh, his possibilities and his uh, candidacy going. But Raymond, that's not fair. No, you get sharper with age, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sure. What else? Well, Biden today showed why there are concerns about his age. At the White House, he pardoned a pair of turkeys named Chocolate and Chip, not James and Hunter. Nine and a half million turkeys. I tell you what, that's like some of the countries I've been to. And the anyway, chocolate. Is my favorite chocolate is my favorite ice cream. So I, but I could have, we could have named them chips and science. Do you want to talk? <laughs> that may be what? my favorite moment, Laura. You want to talk to the turkey? Uh, at that point, given the inflation numbers, I thought maybe the turkey should pardon Biden, but uh, it didn't work out that way. He pardoned both chocolate and chip, or as Biden called them, chocolate chip and chip. Well, you know who was really funny is Trump was really funny with the, the pardoning of the turkeys because he's a natural kind of performer. That that was actually right. fun. But this routine was, well, pain. Hey, look, plucked. there was another odd moment when he recognized his grandchildren, Laura. That's my grandson, Bo, up there and my granddaughter. Don't let him jump. Nothing says Happy Thanksgiving like my grandchildren are about to jump from the Truman balcony. He's used this routine before. Don't jump. You look crazy enough to jump. Don't jump. Don't jump. Don't jump. And don't jump from up there, okay? Why does he say that? I because guess because pe people are in such agony, they'll probably Thank throw you. themselves off the roof or the balconies. They could be putting themselves out of their misery just to get through another Biden series of turkey jokes. That could be exactly well, where we are. Look, the, the turkey pardon had barely happened, Laura. It was barely finished when Jill Biden went out to receive the White House Christmas tree. At this rate, New Year's Eve could be coming tonight at midnight. I mean, can we take a breath between the seasons? <laughs> Elections go on for four weeks, but Thanksgiving and Christmas is over in an afternoon with the Bidens. I've never seen anything like it. No, I mean, that's a quickie. But, Raymond, they had the Christmas <laughs> decorations up in, like, the, you know, the pharmacies and stuff. They were up in September, like late September, yeah, because well, they have so much backed the up the inventory. Yeah. Yeah, they're always pushing All early. Right. And, you know, look, in 2019, the Biden, I mean, the Trumps also had the turkey pardon and the tree reveal on the same day. Yeah, but it's too be fast. Fair. Give it a break. All break. right, Ray, Ray, a story in the New York Times is claiming that Justice Alito leaked the Hobby no. Lobby decision back in 2014 to a dinner companion. Only the supposed source in the justice insists the story is totally false. Right. Yeah. This New York Times piece was a, an attempt to try to blame Alito for the Dobbs leak, which makes no sense at all. Why would he expose himself to threats and pressure before Roe was overturned? Though I came across a new study that touches on the cultural impact of the Dobbs decision. It's interesting. Since Roe was overturned, a Match.com study found that one in five couples say they are more hesitant to have sex. Four in five claim they have changed 
their dating behavior since the ruling. That's interesting. That kind of reflection, I personally think, is a good thing for people to have and to, to consider the consequences of your actions, particularly when it comes to a life hanging in the balance like I this. I have a question. Was Is Match.com right up there with Gallup and all the other polling organizations? I mean, now well, they're doing— They commissioned the poll. They didn't do it themselves, ah, Laura. I got it. All right, yeah. Ray. Well, happy but it, but it's Thanksgiving. Good. Look, yeah, happy, Raymond, happy Thanksgiving Eve, because you're filling in yeah. for me, I understand. That's going to be fun. Uh, we have an all-star cast just waiting to Ooh. fill the gap there, and I'll try to keep the seat warm, Laura. Awesome. All right, Raymond, happy Thanksgiving. Great to see you tonight.